Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Broncos center Connor McGovern. Uh, four days off after that loss to the Chiefs. What's the feeling going to be like when you step back into that locker room tomorrow morning? You know, it's just back to business. Um, we have, there's still a lot of season left. You know, those who win late in the season are the ones that go to the playoffs. And that's kind of our goal after the 0-4 start. That's, that's what we talked about. You're like, you know, it, it's really how you finish and how then how you start. So um, there's been teams that have had records like ours that have made it to the playoffs, and that's still our goal. Vic Fangio, in his first year as a head coach, he's had some ups and downs, obviously, the difficult start, and, and then obviously Thursday night. What is your read from him in his first season as a head coach? You know, I think he's going to be a, a great head coach for a long time. You know, it's, um, he's, he's really changing that culture, and, and I think, you know, there's games where you see it, and, and we, we haven't put a full game together where all three phases are clicking you know sometimes the offense is doing enough and, and the defense is there the defense does enough we don't do enough and and then special teams and so it's you know i'm excited for that game where we, we put all three phases together i think it's going to be a broncos team that people haven't seen in a long time and i'm excited for them. how difficult is it as a player to come in your freshman or your rookie year you have gary kubiak then you have vance joseph now you're third head coach in four years in the league. How difficult is that? Uh, you, you know, I've gotten used to it, I guess. I've had a different offensive line coach every year. So I had a buddy, Mitch Morris, who had spent his whole time in Kansas City had the same offensive line coach, same well, same system. You know, I don't know if I'm sure he's had, you know, one or two offensive line coaches, but he goes to Buffalo and he's like, man, it's a whole new, I'm not used to learning a new offense. I'm like going, oh, it feels like I'm a rookie all over again. I'm like, yeah, welcome to my life every year. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been something I've gotten used to and, and I'm hoping to, uh, you know, settle that down a little bit and, and have an off season where I don't have to learn a whole new playbook. The big news this week, I'm sure you heard it, the deal with Emmanuel Sanders likely to get traded. How do you think that will go over in the locker room and how do you guys go about not letting that affect your week of preparation for the Colts? You know, I think it'll affect, you know, more of the play calling and, and the wide receivers room because that's, you know, the oldest guy in the wide receivers room. And and uh, for the offense line, you know, we're just going to focus on doing our jobs and, and you know, showing up every day and, and trying to, you know, really gel and be the, the leaders we can be and, and really, you know, whatever if we have to make up somewhere, hopefully we can protect a little bit longer and, and help out Joe and the wide receivers and, and, and whatever happens if we do trade them. It's likely that Juwan James will be back this week. Fingers crossed on yep. that. What can he bring back to that offensive line? Uh, you know, just experience and leadership. You know, a guy like that, um, it, it's it's big to miss. You know, Eli's been playing really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really filling the shoes well. But having a guy that's, you know, played at you know, Juwan's level for as long as he has, you know, five, this is six years. So uh, it's a lot of experience you're missing having a guy that's um, only started five games replacing him. So I think... You know, you're looking for that in the huddle, and, and, and it'll, it'll be good. Missouri Tigers going to end up uh, having a decent season after that difficult loss on Saturday? You know, I think so. They beat the good teams, so yeah. we'll uh, hopefully they can, uh, you know, always wake up and, and play the not as good teams harder, but uh, we'll <laughs> see how that goes. Really, you know, really hopefully they can uh, win the sp uh, get the spread down. So uh, I was expecting a blowout when the yeah. spread was 35. I think a lot of so, people were, yeah, I was including everybody in Las Vegas. Yeah, I was a little bit, little bit disappointed. The good yeah. news is after you lose to Vanderbilt, there's not much below that no. that you can do. So it's yeah. all up here, yep. uphill now exactly. for our Tigers. Hey, man, really enjoyed the visit yep. tonight. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for stopping by, and thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.